if he can put it all together on some day when Lim- when Watford are absolutely flying, there's no telling the damage he could do. I have to say, I think Cattle has laid the gauntlet down to him since he, since he took charge. I, I do think that. And he's demanding a performance every day. Um, Even like Waterford had a much weakened team out the other day. And I, I don't know if these are conversations that, that are happening, but I think he's he, he's demanding him take on the mantle. Regardless of who's on the pitch, I want you to lead and drive it forward. That's just something I, I, I think, I, I don't think he's, I don't can't recall him being rested ever really. He doesn't, he's always playing. If he's fit, he's always playing. And uh, I think it's massively helped with his consistency. And I think invariably now with Ozzy, you nearly know what you're going to get every day out of him. And that probably wasn't the case. Maybe, in, that's not to say he wasn't performing well, but in 17, 18 and 19, there was inconsistencies where I think now he's solid as a rock nine times out of 10. And I like to have him further up the field because he'll, he'll take seven or eight shots in a game if he's wing back. I'd rather him take seven or eight shots when he's within 60 yards rather than seven or eight when you know half the time it's outside and 90 yards and remember it can be frustrating when a player does that i give out about Tipperary taking shots from 100 yards all the time so if you have one lad who's doing that and he's scoring three out of eight maybe from distance it's frustrating i i'd want him further up the field but the way the way we're talking about him and the fact that he's played inside and outside the last number of years and he's, he's dangerous in both makes me think yeah there's actually a bit of rory o'connor about him but since Roy O'Connor has moved inside and he's there a bit more regularly, and like that, you know, obviously there's there's the other side of him too that we saw against Cork when he soloed maybe 80 yards up the pitch at a ridiculous pace and blasted one over the bar last weekend. But when he's playing inside, I look at what Desi Hutchinson does. And when the ball is fed in front and he gets the ball and turns, to me, there's there's a bit of a mirror image between the two, I think. And that's a fascinating battle. They won't be directly against each other. It's like talking about... Tom Brady against, you know, Patrick Mahomes. They never actually directly face each other really on the field. But the battle of who, which of the two of them can do damage is exciting me.